Welcome to the University of Cape Town's Electronic Research Administration ERA or ERA system. In this orientation video, I will show you how to navigate the ERA external research portal as well as the internal access controlled system. To navigate to the ERA research portal, you can go to the research support hub on www.researchsupport.uct.ac.za and click on the research portal icon. Or alternatively, you could go straight to the navigation bar and type in eraonline.uct.ac.za to go straight to the research portal. The research portal is where publicly viewable content can be found because it's an open portal that anyone has access to via the internet. There are different sections of the research portal that I'll point out to you now. The first section is the top menu where you'll find the options to log in as well as information about accessibility. The second section is the header that displays the name of the portal as well as the University of Cape Town's UCT logo. The third section is the main menu where you can access other UCT websites. The fourth section is the left side menu where you can access different sections of the research portal itself. These sections are the ERA homepage, the page that you're currently on, the people page that showcases people who are researchers at the university, and the UCT research outputs page that houses the research outputs from UCT. The fifth section includes the container of the page where you can see the welcome message, the general search and the latest UCT outputs. The general search box can be used to look for any type of searchable content on the portal, for example, searching for a researcher or a research output. The latest UCT research outputs displays research outputs that were added to the ERA system and marked as publicly viewable. The sixth and last section of the portal is the footer. The footer displays contact details for different offices at the university. Firstly, I'll show you how to use the general search function on the home page. Go to the general search box and type in a researcher or research output. For this example, I'm going to use Professor Ed Rabitsky. I'll type in his name and then click search or press enter. You will notice that at the top of the page is a summary of the search results. You can see how many people or research outputs hits were received for the search phrase that you typed in. In this example, there were 30 results, one people result and 29 research outputs in the summary near the top of the page. If you'd like to share the search with someone else, you can scroll down to the bottom of the page and share a link to the search results. Please type in the required information and then click send. Next, we will go to the people page and search for a person. Click on people on the left side menu. You can either use the alphabetical sorter to find someone by clicking on the first letter of their surname and using the navigation buttons to get the desired results. Or you can use the search function at the top of the page. I'll now demonstrate how to use both functions to find Professor Ed Rabitsky. I will first try the alphabetical sorter choosing R and then navigating to the end of the results for R. I found Professor Rabitsky. Next I'll try the search function by typing in his name and then clicking the little magnifying glass icon. I'm also able to locate Professor Rabitsky quickly and easily from the search results. Once I have found the researcher, 
I can choose to share the researcher profile with someone else or I could even get in touch with the researcher. To share, click the share link at the bottom of the page. Fill in the required details and then click send. To contact the researcher, click the Get in Contact and then click Send. Now we'll navigate to the UCT Research Outputs page to find a research output. The search function and alphabetical sorter on this page works in the same way as on the People page. I will search for a research output using the word virus. Once I've found the research output that I'm looking for, I'll click on the title of the research output to see more details. Perhaps I'd like to know if the full text for this article is available. I will click the Request Full Text button, fill in the details and click Send. An email will be sent to the university and you'll receive a reply with the full text information if this is publicly available. To get to a section of a page quickly, you can use access keys that are found on the accessibility page. I'm going to click on the top menu to see these keys. Here I'd like to know how to jump to the search section of any page. The keys for this on the browser that I'm using, which is Google Chrome, is Alt and 5. I'll go back to the People page and scroll down to the bottom to demonstrate this functionality. From the very bottom of the page, if I click Alt and 5 together, this will jump to the search function. Now that you know how to navigate around the external research portal, the next step is to log in. You can log into the ERA system using your UCT network username and password. If you're on www.eraonline.uct.ac.za, you can click login in the top menu. This will take you to the UCT single sign-on page. Use your usual login details, which is either your staff, student, or T number, and your UCT network password to log in. This will take you to the dashboard of the ERA. This dashboard is called the Profile Dashboard, and it will be your landing page after login. The dashboard will look slightly different depending on what roles you have, but most of the functionality will be similar. I'll now show you the different areas within the system and then how you can log out again. The left side menu is where you can find existing information in the system. If you're logged in as a researcher, you'll find your research outputs that have been preloaded in the system, CV activities, notifications, and statistics that are specific to your research activity. The My Tools menu links to online tools outside the system that you'll now have quick access to. The search function works in a similar way to the research portal, but now you'll be able to find information that is marked as publicly visible as well as internally visible. If I search for virus here, these are the results that I'll get. To access the help menu, you can click here. There is also an accessibility page from within the system for more shortcut keys that can save you time in navigating the system. This is the button to add different types of new content to the ERA system. The little bell in the top right shows you how many new notifications you have. When you click on the bell and then view all, you can access new and existing notifications in a similar way to the notifications item in the left side menu. The menu under your name as well as the remaining features will be explained in the next video that is all about researcher profiles. For now, we will select log out to leave the system 
and come back at some other time. If you'd like to come back into the system immediately, you can click here.